going through the sugar minor LPs that I recommend marks of respect to seek out. Uh, very hard uh, to choose these LPs. There's a bunch down there that we've rejected, but I wouldn't actually call them rejects. But even the bunch we've kept here is rather fat, so here we go. Um, this one on the Black Roots label, it's a dub LP, sugar minor. Uh, meet the people in a lover's dubber style. Um, later stuff, but very good work. Uh, buy off the bar, had to keep this one. Uh, showcase, showcase LP, um, and there's some tracks on there, just totally crucial. Ghettoology, arguably his best LP. You can't really call yourself a Sugar Mine Rock fan if you don't have this LP on the Trojan label. Sugar Mine Rock, Slice of the Cake, a later compilation on the Heartbeat label. Crucial, absolutely gotta have it. Slice of the Cake itself. Studio One, some of the early work before he fell out with Cox and Dodd, worth getting. Again on Studio One, the later compilation on the Soul Jazz label, some great tracks on that. Uh, and it's a double LP, remember those? Uh, Herb Band Hustling, apparently Sugar Minot deals with Basil, Rosemary and Time. And um, this album is all about the trials and tribulations of a herb salesman. Oh, we have that one twice. How could we? Um, we have this one thrice. Ghettoology. I think that was in an attempt to try and get a decent pressing of this legendarily brilliant LP, which unfortunately on the Black Roots label is often not that well pressed. Uh, and I think I picked the third one because. Every now and then, we get it in glorious coloured vinyl. That's a must have, isn't it, really? If you've got a few hundred quid in your pocket, because um, that one doesn't usually go cheap. Oh, there's one here that I bought sealed. Shock horror, unsealed with it. Yeah, kill me now, collectors. Uh, unfortunately, it still sticks. Brand new or not. When I say brand new, brand new 20 years ago, still in the bag when I bought it. A special delight when you get still, still sealed records. Even more special delight when you unseal them to the squeals of record collectors everywhere. Um, another compilation here, um, Sugar Minot Sweet Stuff, Volume 1. Not sure there is a Volume 2, but Volume 1, a double LP, really does have some sweet stuff on it and worth getting. Um, if you want uh, an instant sugar minor collection. Good thing going. Don't know why I've got two of these, but I have. I uh, suspect I've got three. I think there may be one still sealed in the Pirates treasure box of still sealed records. Um, this uh, was huge. Oh, I see, we've got one on Heartbeat and one on RCA, so they're on different labels. This LP was absolutely huge, Good Thing Going. It has Good Thing Going on it, which was Sugar Minot's UK hit. Uh, got to number something quite high in the hit parade. And probably despite the fact that nobody wanted to play it, because it was that reggae stuff. Sugar Minot Showcase, early Studio One, worth getting. A few versions of that available with different um, pressings. Actually got different uh, versions of the records or endings or track orders or something. Don't ask me. Wicking it. Sufferer's Choice. Very stripped down LP. Um, done on a budget. Actually says so in the uh, lyrics. Um, but still, it was worth the effort, Sugar, because that one's a good one. Wicked I Go Feel It. On the Bullwackies label. There's a the Bullwackies label. That's the original press. You can get that quite easily on the German um, uh, Wackies DE represses. Uh, they're very good represses, so if you can't afford the originals, you've got to get that. We can have a feel it. Such a good LP. Freedom Train, Think It Over. Oh, track after track. Sugar Mine Not Black Roots. Um, this is on uh, Mango and Island, so it's done with a black corn thing. Um, it, it's, it's sort of thought, often thought as one of his best LPs. It's got uh, 
Mankind, Jordan River, Hard Time Pressure, some really good sounds on that one, so worth getting, there's a couple of those there, because on different labels. Um, and that's the last of the pick, but there was, over here, all of this bunch here, which I kind of rejected, but there are pick-out tracks on every single one of these LPs uh, that would make the LP worth picking up. And, and really, I mean, I look at this and I think, how did that not get in the acceptance pile? A uh, very interesting one, that one, with the African brothers, uh, uh, Tony Tough, etc. Two sides, one with him and one with the geezers. And more compilations that somehow got rejected. On oh, that's his um, African Girl LP on Black Roots, his own label. People will be screaming at me for rejecting that, but come on. I couldn't make Mark buy 40 LPs, could I? Uh, and he could avoid these, largely because... Um, they're mainly digital stuff and they're not my taste, but lots of people probably love it. Uh, so as you can see, Mr. Minor was a very prolific man. Because as well as all these hundreds of LPs, These are all sugar minor 12 inches. So all, all sugar minor, all of this. Some great stuff. And frankly, some rubbish. There you go.